alert most accurate forecast on this Friday. And look at what we were able to catch last night, Keith. Just around 10 o'clock, the clouds started to build in. They are very low and they were sitting right above City Hall, then came right through the top of where we have our camera on the top of Seneca One Tower. And we've been sitting there ever since. We cannot get rid of the cloud cover uh, this afternoon. Not only that, we can't get rid of the rain either. It's very pesky and nuisancey, and it's going to stay with us for the day today. Good news is we get a little bit of sunshine on Saturday, milder temperatures. We dry things out. The second half of Sunday uh, is going to be a wet one. And then what well, we don't really even want to talk about next week either. So let's talk about what we're going to go through and how we get through the Memorial Day weekend. 58 degrees right now, a westerly wind right around nine miles an hour. Temperatures are in the 60s. You take a look across the Niagara frontier towards Rochester, a little bit cooler through the southern tier valleys and Lake Erie still at 56 degrees at this point. On 7 Super Doppler, it's part of of this area of low pressure that is going to be spinning to the northeast of us. As it does so, we're going to continue to see these showers come in from the northwest and head down to the southeast, and everyone's going to be dealing with them. A bit more spotty as you go from Niagara on the Lake to Lockport and Batavia. And then once you get from Buffalo to, uh, say, Elma, Attica, right along 20 and then down to around 28, it's more of a light shower type of activity that we have out there. And then again, you go through the southern tier and becomes a bit more spotty from Jamestown to Olean. That's what we're going to deal with for the afternoon today into this evening and for the overnight. It's primarily going to be a cloudy overnight with a few light sprinkles, and this is how it's going to play out as we go throughout the afternoon. Taking it hour by hour, even by 8 o'clock at night, still along that same path from northwest down to the southeast, a little bit drier through the overnight period, even possibly peaking through the clouds for Jamestown and Mayville and along Chautauqua Lake. As we into Saturday. We start out with the cloud cover, potentially a few light sprinkles as we head into the afternoon, mainly south and east of Buffalo. This is trying to pick it up a little bit closer to the city. That might stay again a little bit further south and inland away from the lakeshore for the day on Saturday. We are going to go from the 50s, which is a cool start, up to around 70 for the afternoon. That's going to be our nice tranquil day, a pleasant day, even though we do have some of those rain showers uh, that we might be contending with. And then for the Buffalo Marathon, Last year, it was in the 80s by the time people were ending by noon. That won't be the case this year. Much more average, but it's going to be a cool beginning. So you might be shedding the layers. And the good news is with that, if you're shedding the layers and there aren't people there to take it from you, it all gets donated. So that's always a good thing to know that it's just not going into the garbage. Clouds will increase by noon, and then we're going to have some thunderstorms later on in the day. And then for Memorial Day, if you're going to uh, services or if you have parades, you are going to be dealing with some rain showers, very scattered, and temperatures will be up to around 70 degrees, but notice we'll have a bit of a breeze to contend with for our Memorial Day as well. That southwest wind at around 15 miles an hour will make the lakeshore a little bit cooler and also a little bit breezier. As we go into next week, we stay in the 60s here. We're not going to see much of a difference between Tuesday and Thursday in terms of cloud cover and those spotty rain showers, but the temperatures are going to dip down a little bit, although next weekend does start to look like we dry out some. Well, it's been kind of a cool April, May, hasn't it? And I know. What? And now we're going into June in the same type of scenario, so right. hopefully it changes soon. All right. Thanks, Autumn. Don't go away. Mr. Foods,